Hey everybody, it's Dr. Drew, the doctor, Modus Specialist Physical Therapy. In this series of Google versus the doctor, we're going to talk about some of the common things we see that when people search for ankle sprains on Google. So when most people sprain their ankle, one of the common things that they do is they rest it. They just let it sit for a couple days. They don't do too much movement on it. Um, they immobilize it. They you know, either put a brace on it or they go to their doctor and they cast it. This is what you'll find mostly on Google, something called RICE. Rest for R, ice, compression, and elevation. Not to say that those are bad, but now what we're finding through research and science is that we actually need the ankle to move. So if you've just had a recent ankle sprain and you're not sure what to do, what we recommend is that you get it moving and follow the principle of meat. Movement, exercise, analgesics, which is in the same sense of turmeric and other kind of healthy uh, medications that you can find. And T is for treatment. So movement, what you wanna do is just get it moving. One of the common things that most, most people complain about after an ankle sprain is that they have a lot of stiffness on the anterior part of their ankle joint. The most common ligaments sprained when someone has a traditional ankle sprain is on the lateral side, and there's a few of them here. Sometimes you'll get it on the medial side, which are right here, the deltoid ligaments. One of the common complaints that we see after an ankle sprain is that people feel like they have, they're running out of motion with dorsiflexion. So the reason why we wanna get the ankle moving after an ankle sprain immediately is to get that motion back right away. Now this can be done simply by just passively moving it, having someone stretch it, yeah. stretch the back of the calf, but mainly because we want this talus to get as much mobility as possible and that scar tissue doesn't limit that down. So the biggest complaint again that we see is people having issues with dorsiflexion and by getting this to move right away, we can eliminate that. Some of the ways to also get that when you're becoming, when there's less pain and becoming more functional is by doing some lunges where you're really trying to get that knee forward, some squats where you're wanting to get also that knee forward while the foot is planted so you get that relative dorsiflexion. Whether you're doing this on your own or with a physical therapist, what you want to really focus is that you may have some discomfort, but the focus should still be on actually regaining this motion here. Remember, just don't Google it and talk to a medical provider or your nearest physical therapist. Thanks for watching our series on Google versus the doctor. Don't forget to click and subscribe to our page for more great content.